Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Silpra example. In last video, we have seen how to open insecure websites. Insecure website means websites without any SSL certificate and how to open them in Selenium that we have seen. For that purpose, we have used this class Chrome options. By using this Chrome options class, we are changing or we are setting behavior of this web driver. So this we have seen in previous video. Here we'll do one more thing. We'll print title of that website. So see for that purpose. So see, S Y S O, Control Space Enter. So see here we got System dot Out dot Println. So S Y S O that was shortcut for this System dot Out dot Println. So see, uh, for this purpose, what we have to do? S Y S O, Control Space and Enter. So we will get this system dot out dot print and here driver dot get title. So we will print title of this website. Now see, we will run our program. So our website is open, and here you can see the title of this website. This title of this website expired.badssl.com it is also printed here here you can see now see whatever the browser that is open when we run any selenium program this is the fresh copy of the browser what is the meaning of fresh copy there is no any extension which is added in this browser for example this is the actual browser and here you can see here I have added one extension selectors of right selectors of that extension here I have added. Now see this is the browser which I have opened by using Selenium. When I right click here, so here you cannot see selectors of because this, this extension is not present in the browser which is opened or which is launched by the Selenium. Now see if we want to add that extension in this Chrome browser which is opened by the Selenium, so that also we can do. And for that purpose, again, we have to take help of this Chrome options class. So see, by using this Chrome options class, what we are doing, we are setting behavior of this web driver, right? So for that purpose, what we have to do by using this options class, here we have to call one method add extensions. See. And here we have to pass object of file class. So see new file and in this round bracket here I have to pass path of the extension file or plugin file. So generally that extension is .crx. So something some name will be there and extension file extension will be .crx. Now important thing is how to download this .crx file for the extension. For this purpose, again, you have to install, you have to add one more extension in our browser. See, here in Google, I am typing Chrome Web Store. Open this Chrome Web Store. Here, you have to search CRX Extractor and Downloader. See, CRX Extractor Downloader. Click on this. Click here. Already, I have added this plugin in my Chrome browser. So that's why it is showing remove from Chrome. Otherwise, you have to add there. So add button will be there, and likewise, you have to add there by click by clicking on this add button. You have to install this plugin into your Chrome browser, and this plugin help to download this CRX file. Now see, I want to install CRX file for the selector sub. Now again in Google, I am typing Chrome Web Store. Open this. See here, I am searching selectors hub. Now see selectors hub. So see, uh, already I have installed selectors hub on my browser. So that's why it is showing remove from Chrome. Now see, I want to download .crx file for this plugin, right? Now see here on this button, I have to right click. I have to right click, go down and see download CRX for this extension. So see here already I have 
added this plugin in my Chrome browser. And by using this plugin, I have to download .crx file. So what I have to do? I have to take cursor over this button, right click here, then go down, download CRX for this extension. See, download CRX for the extension. Click here. So it is asking where you want to download. So I want to download in downloads folder only. So see, I have downloaded this .crx file. Now see, we have to give path of this file. So what we'll do? We'll go to properties. This path will copy and we'll mention in our Eclipse. So see that I have told here I have to mention it. So this is a path of this file to for a backslash and name of the file. So name of the file is this selectors of dot crx. So here we will mention right so this is a folder path and this is the name of the file with dot crx extension so already i have done now i have saved this program and now i will open it so browser got open now if i right click here so i can see selector sub see previously i have checked so at that time there was no selector sub because selector sub that extension was not added in our browser which was launched by the selenium right but now this is the browser i have launched by using selenium right because just now we have run our program and when i right click here there is selector sub right that means this plugin is added in our launched browser so in this way we can add plugins to our launched browser so friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.